We've got a repeat of the Nissan R390 GT1 Grand Prix on Asphalt 9 today. So we've got 24 hours until Q1 begins. It's the same rules as always. Complete three conditions to gain access to rewards. We've got season tokens in the rewards. So 6,000 season tokens there. And another 4,000 once qualifying begins. So I didn't get this car on the first GP. I didn't spend any tokens on it, so I just collected free blueprints. But I've got it at two star. I'm not going to... I don't think I... Up oh. I think I've left it at one star on the upgrades. I'll leave it like that. I'm not going to sandbag at all. I didn't look at the rewards. I'm just going to drive around, do some 360s and try and unlock Q1. I'll buy some blueprints for this this time because I think I realized by sort of opting out of this car by not not trying or not investing anything in it and both that I, le I got left behind with this particular car. And now tokens, as tokens get devalued, so I don't want to say tokens have been devalued but some people feel they might have been. I might as well spend them on GPs for cars I don't have. Just don't like this car very much. And when it first came out, I think there were other things that I thought were worth spending my tokens on. I thought I was going left then. I'm still driving very averagely, deliberately. But I'm not going slow. I'm not just leaving it to coast. Because I think then you get more, you get a higher proportion of sandbaggers with intent if you go really slow. And that's three conditions complete. So I'll wait for Q1 tomorrow. And then try and qualify without paying any tokens. Good luck, guys. I'm madder than you.